Are we gonna tell them? We're the gonna, name? yeah, we're gonna right end now. On this. Yeah, we're gonna end on this Ooh. because this is the best part of the entire video. And if you don't make it to this hold part on. of the video, you are okay, missing hold out. On. I got, we have, I gotta preface this real quick. Is that this is a double entendre? We are not gonna tell you what the double entendre is. We are gonna we just tell you that. It out. We're just gonna tell you the name. What's up, Light Nation? Hey, what's going on, Light Bright Nation? So, we need your guys' help building a new off-road vehicle. Like, we need we need your help really badly because there's, there's a lot to this, and there's a lot to choose, and we need your help. Genuinely, we do. But, before we get started, heads up, this is very exciting for us, clearly. I think it's going to be pretty freaking exciting for a lot of you, but... Here's your warning. I also think it's probably gonna be a little bit triggering for some of you as well, <laughs> but you know what? We don't care. Why? Because we're automotive enthusiasts. But before we get going, because I'm sure some of you already know what's about to happen, Light Bright Racing merch is officially available, officially available on our website, lightbrightstudios.com. So if you guys do plan on coming out to King of the Hammers, now is the time to order it. Or if you just want a super bad shirt, hoodie, anything, now's the time to get it. Okay, so, Guys, today we are officially ordering our brand new dun, 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 dun. 2021 Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco. <laughs> okay, so okay. this is the issue. This is the dilemma. So they have like six or seven, how many How many options to choose from? Now, the automatic sway bar disconnect only comes in two models. Now, we got in on day one within the first like hour, so we have a very early reservation and we got the first edition. First edition, we because did. we're cool, <clears throat> we thought. We thought we wanted the first edition, so we got in, but. We learned a lot of things. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna go to the first edition first because that is what we originally thought that we wanted, right? right? Now, <clears throat> Wrong. So the first edition is Fully loaded. It's got everything. Now, as far as Bronco has the electronic sway bar disconnect, like a Rubicon does, you can only get that on two models, and that's on the Badlands and on the first edition. So I'm pretty much going to choose a Badlands or a first edition. We knew that it was going to be between those two. We thought the first edition would be super rad. Why yeah. wouldn't we go with the first edition? So here's the big thing: is the first edition gets zero tow rating. It gets zero. Like you cannot put a tow hitch on a first edition from the factory, and I assume that's because it's so loaded and. And I guess so heavy that I think you're already over, like using all your, your tow limit. It is, and correct us if we're wrong, but Pretty. it is literally from what we can tell, not an option. You cannot tow or get a towing package on a first the edition Jeep. <laughs> I almost said Jeep Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On a first edition Ford Bronco. Right. You can't get a towing package. It just seems weird. Anyway. Keep in mind, the reason that we are getting a Ford Bronco to begin with is a, we think, personally, it's going to make a super dope as hell Baja build. It's IFS. Desert Runner. It's going to be super rad. But we do want to do with a Ford Bronco what we did do mm. with the Jeep Wrangler, which was right. by the best of the best and then test it out in your typical crazy light bright fashion. Right. Make no mistake, this thing eventually will be crazy oh, highly God. modified. So... Technically, we should just get a base model and do everything that we did with the Jeep, but with the Bronco and just build the hell out of it. But if we did that, we wouldn't be able to take a Bronco and put it up against a Rubicon. It wouldn't be a fair comparison. We bought a Jeep Rubicon. We bought the right. best of what Jeep had to offer. So our goal from the start is going to be to buy something that is as equipped as a Rubicon. And with the Sasquatch package that's available like on all options of the Bronco is 35 inch tires, 470 gears, which is 35 inch tires and 470 gears from the factory under warranty that's pretty freaking awesome a 2.7 turbo and a 10 speed automatic transmission that 2.7 i would venture to say and bet that it will keep up and i get it it's only on 35s but with 470 gearing and the 2.7 turbo i bet it keeps up with our hemi with 40s and tons and you first I, thing if we'll not do is, is, is drag race the two 100 that's what we're doing so we need to drag race the bronco against a stock two liter turbo wrangler against a v6 uh wrangler and against our Hemi Wrangler. The stepchild. And maybe if we can find a diesel or something. I'm maybe sure we... someone out you there, hey, one of you guys got yeah. a diesel we can race against. But anyways, <clears throat> so we, we digress. So here's here's the issue, is that the first edition is fully loaded. It comes with adaptive cruise and 360 camera. Lane and assist, lane steering assist. assist. It has all this extra stuff, but that's not even the biggest issue. So if we go to the first edition and we start our build, the first thing you'll notice is there are only five colored options. 
for the exterior. This red right here is not a red that I want. That is a dark red, so that's that's out. It looks good in that photo, but I, I know in person what it looks like, and that's not what uh, I want. Not a fan. And if you have any of these colors on any of your vehicles and you're in love with them, I apologize. But gray's not a fan. It's more like a primer gray. Not um, a fan of it. Anyways, so if we go over to the Badlands and we start our build from there, you'll notice immediately you have 11 exterior color options 11 not five 11 so first edition instantly screwed right there and look i was like what there is instantly the color that i would get is the bright race red bright That's... race red you can't go wrong with it obviously mm -mm. look at the step child so that was this is number one that's making us think, obviously, the Badlands. And throughout this conversation, you guys are more than welcome to comment below and let you know what you think, if you have a different opinion than us. Because everything we're going to say in here is mostly opinion, and uh, this is the whole reason I'm making this video, is we want y'all's help on how we should do this. Now, you'll notice that both options are four-door. The reason for that is we do intend to build this to be a bad Baja desert speed racing yeah, and, thing. And a two-door just doesn't have the wheelbase to be high speed stability. Stability. I did want a two-door because they're super cool and neat, but room inside and high speed stability. Anyhow, this is this is actually really tough because the first edition, they were originally limited to 3,500, which we got in on which, the first 3,500. And that would have been cool because that's super limited, but right? But then they sold out instantly, so they opened it to 7,000. Which is still pretty cool that we're going to be one of 7,000, but obviously really. not as cool as one of 3,500. Anyways, color options exterior, number one, we're leaning towards the Badlands here. Yeah. Okay, so now if we go back to the first edition Bronco, obviously... If we go with the first edition, only color option we both agree personally that we would pick. The cyber orange. It's going to be the cyber orange, which is cool. Costs us 600 extra dollars, but it's still a cool color. Again, a ton of this stuff comes from the factory with, <laughs> Brit, with the Bronco. Brittany has a big pet peeve on this Bronco already so, because it comes fully loaded. The moment we pulled this up, I told Cal, I was like, what the frig is that? I was like, what? 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 What is that? The brush The brush guard? So it's... <laughs> Listen, hold on. If you go into the exterior options, you see this. They're calling it a brush guard. Now, in the cheap world, something similarishly akin a, to that would stinger. be called a stinger, right? I'm, su I suppose the thought is to like brush wires and stuff to keep things away from that area. To brush I, things away is usually what I, you would. Anyways, it covers the fucking logo. It covers. Yeah, it's kind of weird that like you would have this Look big this. bronco across the grill but then put a brush guard that covers where it says Bronco. And it doesn't look bad, but it just looks... I think looks, it does. It I looks think it looks cheesy. terrible. It looks I, cheesy. It, I don't like it. Now, the good news is, is if we go with the first edition, even though it comes with this you useless piece it. of whatever it is, if you look here, it's bolted on. So you can technically just remove, remove it from it. the bumper completely. Right. Yeah. But it, I didn't, I don't know. So you know what the biggest issue other than looking cheesy is? Is if you were to ever accidentally hit somebody or somebody backed into you, that bar will do way more damage to your front end than not having it. That bar will get pushed in, go through the grill, through the condenser, through the radiator. Like that bar creates more damage. I don't anyway, see what it's brushing away from your grill. It's, it's literally <laughs> touching it's, the front. Anyway. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, cool. They offer a winch option where you can add a winch right from the factory. And I was like, yeah, it's IFS and we're probably going to go do some hardcore rock crawling. And I was like, we should probably have a winch. And then we uh, opened up the winch and oh my gosh. We found this. Wha-bam. This is your winch option. So if you'll notice, here's your normal bumper, right? Your normal bumper. The winch mounts and attaches to the front side of the bumper like it sticks out. It's an add-on. It looks pretty terrible. And it just looks out of place. But it messes up your approach angle. It looks silly. But either way, the thought process was that we're going out. We need a winch. We're going to have to have some way to recover ourselves. So we're like, well, what if... We're just going to have to buy it. No one's going to have anything aftermarket soon enough, probably, for us to go with any other option. Yeah, when we get it, we're taking it, like, straight maybe to the Rubicon. But or... I don't want it. So I think instead, the idea here is instead of getting that, instead, we're just going to take the stepchild with us. And with if us, the Bronco the... gets stuck, the stepchild will just be the... Re... <laughs> we'll use the cheap Wrangler as the recovery. Yeah, rig. I think that's a good idea. You know, I know we're complaining about this a lot right now. We're getting the weird stuff out of the way first. The stuff we did not like right. so much. Because there's a lot of cool, cool things that, yeah. that Ford put into this. But these are the things I don't like. So we went over the brush guard. It's not a stinger. The brush guard, the winch. And then with the first edition, there is no towing capacity at all. But with the Badlands, there's 3,500 pounds. There is so, on the Badlands. Which is you, the same thing as the Jeep, as you, the Wrangler. You do have towing capacity on the Badlands. So I think 
again, we're, we're leaning more towards the Badlands instead of the first edition here, which we did not think would be the case, but it is. Now, another thing, though, just to get all the negativity out of the way and done, is the interior color options for the first edition only. Uh, so, to the screen, in addition to these five colors being your only exterior color option. Which we're going to take Cyber Orange in the first edition, I think. If you go down to your interior here, and you look at your seating. Is that is that blue? That is blue and gray is that navy blue and gray that no no there has to be another color option go down some no there's not that's it that's it so an orange car this, with blue interior all right i'm gonna i'm gonna rag on jeep here this right here having that being your only color option for the interior of a vehicle is just as stupid to me personally again all opinions here just as stupid is the jeep wrangler rubicons all coming with red interior trim so if you got a green mojito rubicon and it had red trim or a blue jeep hey, that's just and like it had merry red christmas 24 7 it's, it's like a christmas colors red and green the only personally my opinion the only colors that a blue and gray interior would go really well with black, are gray. blue and gray. Well, black's black. not a color option. I know. For the first edition, so it doesn't matter. However, if you go to the Badlands, swap back over here, and again, you go down to your color options. Well, look at that. Black with orange trim, orange stitch seats yeah. with a cyber orange exterior or that red would be exterior. super dope. Personal opinion. Yeah, like why can't I have that interior with my first edition? Because you can't. But first edition, there's only 7,000 of them made ever. Uh, I don't know. 7,000 is a lot more than 3,500. 3, it's really not much. that exclusive. As, oh, and she's me. not this much taller than me. I'm just actually slouching. And Are you really though? Well, see, look. Look, we're almost even in my camera. That's perspective. I know. Okay, I'll sit up. Look. No, I feel like... Okay, so now... so See? <laughs> so, hold on. So, I have really long legs. All mm -hmm. of my height is in my legs. Almost all of Kevin's height. There's not a lot there, but mo most of Kevin's height is in his torso. He actually has a longer torso than I do. So, sitting down, he's taller than I am. So, I need you to calm down. We're trying to film a video here, <laughs> and you're not healthy. Okay, so... Anyways, back so, to the Bronco. Okay, so, guys... Did we just go with first edition 7,000? Go with cyber orange blue interior because that's all we get. Um, and it's fully loaded. It has everything. Like the only thing you can add is like rock rails. Just so you guys and... know, we cheated a little bit and we kind of priced these out already. Oh. And so what we found out is that fully priced out the way we wanted to for the first edition came out to about $65,000. $20,000 more expensive than what we bought our Jeep Wrangler Rubicon for so from the dealership. we bought our Rubicon pretty much within a month or two of them hitting the floor in 2018. Yeah. When the new JL Rubicon hit the dealerships, we had it within the first month or two. We paid $44,000, $45,000. The Bronco, more, it is more equipped. It, the, the the, the first edition again, Bronco. It comes with a ton of electronic and comfort stuff that isn't available on the Jeep. Right, but twenty thousand dollars. We're talking sixty-five thousand versus forty-five thousand, and yes. It has an upgraded Bengals and stereo. It has adaptive cruise, 360 camera, all this stuff. It's a lot. But it is a lot. if we go to the Badlands. If we went to the Badlands, now we built the Badlands out. And what we discovered was that if we built it similarly as the first edition, or similarly as we could, but left out the nonsense we weren't really so sure we wanted, which was primarily a lot of that driving assist programs and software that we don't really need and we're kind of afraid to have. Because again, this is gonna be a Baja style build, or at least that's what we're hoping for. And we're gonna be going really fast, through rough terrain and we're worried about breaking sensors which can cause an electrical domino effect and we don't know how it'll all react so the less electronics the better yeah generally oh, little little us. little plug bill stein actually built the shocks that are on the higher model uh broncos it's so a we know the suspension is gonna be dope anyways we digress again point is when we built up the badlands to get it equivalent as far as you know what components and parts and whatever we had badlands was about six thousand dollars cheaper five to six thousand dollars cheaper than what the first edition was the first edition was but that still means we're at 14 to fifteen thousand dollars more. more than what we bought our rubicon for that's like a whole cheap car you could buy like a kia or something like an that's... entire vehicle brand new for the price difference. It's a lot. Or think of about money. think about what fifteen thousand dollars in upgrade, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in upgrades would get you in modifications over like if you got more of a base model. Like it's so I don't know. It's, this is But for the sake of science. For the sake of science. 
It's really windy here. For the sake of science, we're gonna do this. We're gonna buy a Bronco and we're going to beat the ever living shit out of it just like we did with our Jeep Wrangler. Why? No. Because we have nothing better to do with our lives, basically. <laughs> and so we wanna be the guinea pigs to show you guys what this thing is capable of. But so you guys fully understand this, an IFS, an independent front suspension rig, which is what the Bronco is and will be, is not going to perform like a solid axle vehicle. It will not, period, end of story. It's not gonna perform in the rocks on an equal level as the Jeep from the factory. But I can guarantee you with IFS, it will be more comfortable on and off-road. It will do higher speeds a lot better. Death wobble won't exist. It'll drive way nicer on It'll, road. In It'll... general, be way better in terms of comfort and stability. Yeah, and it won't be as harsh off road through rough Anything. terrain and whoops. But when it comes to doing the big time rock crawling that we like, it's not gonna it's no. not gonna do it as well. Is it gonna do it? I, I, don't I think know. so. I mean, we'll find out. we just carry a tire all the time. I mean, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to do the rock crawling um, and then we're going to do high speed stuff too. But all I, right. where do we, where Anyways, do we go? Where this do we... video's getting long. We want y'all's help. Badlands, first edition. First edition, Badlands. What do we do? Where do we go? And how do we build it? Finkel I... and Einhorn. I know, that's what I was thinking. Finkel <laughs> and Einhorn. Einhorn, Einhorn and Finkel. Finkel. Anyways, we need y'all's help, which means we need you to comment in the thing below, and we need you to do it AS, a freaking P. We need to order it in the next couple days. Ordering has just opened. We want to order it. We want to get our name in there. We want to make sure we get one of those first Broncos, and we can instantly take it somewhere to beat the crap out of it. All right, here's, what I'm, here's what I'm thinking. Tell me if you like it. I'm thinking Badlands, mostly loaded, obviously Sasquatch package with the 35s and the beadlock ready wheels. Yep. Tow hitch capable. Like, we weren't going to go overboard with all the extras. Oh, in the cyber orange with the uh, marine grade in interior that's kind of what i'm thinking what are you thinking wait you want it in cyber orange instead of red i don't know what are you thinking because the cyber orange it no, has a cyber orange interior. i agree cyber orange the stepchild's red the stepchild is the red-headed stepchild speaking of are we gonna tell them we're the gonna name? yeah we're gonna right end now on this. yeah we're gonna end on this Ooh. because this is the best part of the entire video and if you don't make it to this hold part on. of the video you are okay, missing hold out. On. I got we have to, I gotta preface this real quick. Is that this is a double entendre. We are not gonna tell you what the double entendre is. We are gonna you just tell figure you figure it out. We're just gonna tell you the name and what it origin <laughs> what it originally means. But what it also so, can mean you'll have to figure out. So, guys, for the first time ever, we are ordering a Bronco and we are naming the Bronco Plan B. Because it's a backup if the Jeep breaks or something happens and that's it that's the only reason we'd name it plan b <laughs> it's the greatest thing in the history of ever i'm so excited about this anyways guys as always thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share and we can find all of your light bright racing merch at lightbrightstudios.com again light bright racing merch is now available all of your light bright nation decals at pixeldecals.com guys we love you so much and, we'll and we will see you next time, time. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why we don't do multi-camera too much. Why we don't do multi camera Oh, Brit Brittany. Okay. All right. <laughs> Guys, we need your help. We need to order the Bronco now. Comments. Look at mine first. Ready? What's up, Life Right Nation? Wait, hey. why am I looking at the microphone? Let's try that again. I don't know. This is my first rodeo. <laughs> Cameras. I was looking. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Light Bright Nation? Oh, I looked at the wrong side of the screen. Did you? <laughs> I looked at the left instead of the right. Because <clears throat> I put mine around. I'm trying something new. This is uh, not working. You just go with it. We're, yeah. <laughs>